a black cab tour of London. My name's Stan, I'm a London cabbie, I'm a qualified taxi guide. And I'd like to take you on a tour of some of those parts of London which are of particular interest to me. Some of them are on off the beaten track and uh, places that I like in particular and I enjoy taking uh, visitors to London too. Tower Bridge, if you look at Tower Bridge, it sort of mimics in its style the Tower of London. So it's obviously built as, it, as if it were part of the Tower of London, but it isn't, it's much newer. It's early 20th century. Now, an interesting thing about the section of water between Tower Bridge and London Bridge is that it's called the Pool of London, or the Inner Pool. And there is the story that the word London actually comes from an old Celtic word meaning lindon, meaning dark pools. 2,000 years ago the river would have been much wider and you would have had shallows and obviously deeper sections. The deeper sections would have looked dark, obviously the shallow sections lighter. So London, in the derivation of its name, may have its beginnings in that explanation. Now there was an American millionaire who didn't realise that there was a London Bridge and a Tower Bridge, which were two distinct entities, who thought that by buying London Bridge, he was actually buying Tower Bridge. I'm sure he would have been very surprised to see what it was when it was reconstructed in the desert, in Arizona, to see that he wasn't actually getting Tower Bridge. Now I'm going to uh, show you an area which I find extremely interesting and evokes a, a history of London, if you like, going back to the 19th century, to the early part of the 20th century, the older dock that was in London when you had uh, obviously ships that would come right up to Tower Bridge and perhaps go under Tower Bridge into the inner pool. I particularly like it here because although it's gentrified now, now we have modern apartments and modern restaurants and so on and so forth, but I've seen photographs of this particular street, Shad Thames, where you see the balconies and men walking across from one building to the other with barrel loads of goods and cobbled streets with uh, carts and goods being dispatched, obviously on the other side of the buildings because obviously the cranes would bring the stuff into the warehousing and then into the trucks for transportation elsewhere. When London cabbies uh, do the knowledge when they learn the streets and the routes and the, and the places on those routes where they may have to take potential passengers is trying to remember where places are, what side of the road they're on. And in Haymarket in particular there are two theatres, one is called Her Majesty's Theatre and the other one is called the Theatre Royal. So it's quite a wide street there, so if you're driving down Haymarket and somebody had said to you, I need her Majesty's Theatre. Which side of the road is it, left or right? So we remember that Her Majesty is always right. So therefore, Her Majesty's Theatre will be on the right-hand side of the road and the Theatre Royal will be on the left. So that's an easy way of remembering. Now one of the things about Buckingham Palace, which is not immediately apparent um, to visitors, is the fact that if you look at where the balcony is, where the royal family stand on, on occasion and wave to the waiting crowd below, if you look at that part and you look at the part behind, they're both different colours. The stone is different. One is a sort of browny yellow stone and the other one is quite white. And the reason for that is that the original part of Buckingham Palace was, was never conceived as a palace nor built as a palace. It was actually called Buckingham House, where the Duke of Buckingham lived. And it was actually sold to the royal family, it would have been Queen Victoria at that time, in the middle of the 19th century. And then it was renamed Buckingham Palace. But the eastern facade, where the balcony is, which overlooks the front of the palace, was built by Queen Victoria's son, Edward VII. Hence, it's a, a newer part and is built in a different color stone. 